What's going on guys? We have some brand new news, breaking news. I don't even know what to think right now. There's so much Laker news coming out right now. Apparently, the Lakers and the Wizards are moving, like getting close to done with a deal where it sends Russell Westbrook to the Lakers for Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Kyle Kuzma, Montrez Harrell, and the 2022 first round pick, the 22nd pick, 2021, 20, my bad, the 22nd pick in this year's draft, today's draft for Russell Westbrook. That is insane. And you want to hear something even more crazy. Shams Charania and Adrian Wojnarowski have both said different things at this point. They've both said different things. Adrian Wojnarowski just said that Montrez Harrell got, and Kyle Kuzma straight up got traded for Buddy Heald. And now Shams Charania comes out and says that those two get traded alongside KCP in a first round pick for Russell Westbrook. So I don't know who to believe right now. I'm not sure if... Uh, if Shams is right or Woj is right, Woj has also now come out and said that um, has said that this Russell Westbrook deal is also happening is also like moving closer. So neither of these deals are actually official yet. They won't be official um, for a little bit longer. But I don't know which one's going to happen. It's sounding like Woj is leaning towards the Russell Westbrook deal, which is crazy because in my last video I was like, imagine if all of this happened. And then Buddy Heal didn't end up on the Lakers because I was like, it's not official technically, but that basically means it's done. It might not actually happen. Buddy Heal might still be stuck on the Sacramento Kings. Imagine how he feels getting his hopes up and then not actually getting traded. What if it's Russell Westbrook? Now, I actually think I'm starting to lean towards the Russell Westbrook thing happening more than the Buddy Heal thing. And here's why. The Lakers are looking for a third star. Buddy Heald isn't that. He's like their elite shooter that can shoot, what, 40% from three and make buckets. I don't know if Buddy Heald is that option that you need. Russell Westbrook, yeah, I know he's not like the greatest on defense. I know he's not the greatest shooter. He's really not even a good shooter at times. But at, he has some crazy, crazy highs. And at the end of last season with the Wizards, he had a great finish to the season, even if he didn't have the best start. So also, uh, with Russell Westbrook, he is the all-time leader in triple doubles. And if you look at his record with when he has actually gotten a triple double, he's got a very good record when he scores a triple double. So don't give me that empty stats, uh, stat padding thing. Like, yeah, he's just, he probably tries to get a couple extra rebounds to get that triple double, but his team wins when he does it. So... It does benefit his team. Now, uh, what's going to happen in tonight's draft is beyond me. I, I don't know. It's basically official that the Pistons are taking Cade Cunningham and they are not trading that pick. That is basically exactly what seems like it's going to happen. And I don't know what's happening to the Lakers because do they have their pick or do they not have their pick? Are they trading up or are they not trading up? Because there are rumors they were going to trade up with the Pacers for the 13th pick to most likely go after Corey Kisper uh, or maybe Chris Duarte. I'm not quite sure how do you pronounce that, but I'll just say it like that. Uh, so really, I'm just confused. What's going on? Do they still have their pick? Do they not still have their pick? Are they getting Russell Westbrook, which I'm kind of hoping for, or are they getting Buddy Heald? Now, I know the Lakers shooting was literally horrible last year in the playoffs and for a lot of the season as well, and Westbrook's not going to really improve that, but he is that third star you need. He's that point guard. L look at the lineup you would probably have if you get Russell Westbrook. You probably have a lineup of, let's say, Russell Westbrook at the one, shooting guard. Mm, let's say you get, you have Alex Caruso. Alex Caruso is your shooting guard. Small forward is LeBron, I guess. Power forward, Anthony Davis, center Marcus Gasol. I don't know how you fill out the rest of the roster because remember, you are giving up two more players than you actually have and a draft pick. So really three more players and you're only getting back one so you're giving up four getting back one if you count the draft pick which i don't really know if they do and then you also have a lot of free agents are you bringing back ben mclemore to fill a shooting role i feel like you kind of need to at that point but you also need some defensive players so you need to retain alex caruso and taylor horton tucker are you looking to trade those two uh for somebody like a 
uh, DeMar DeRozan, who also doesn't really help you defensively or shooting wise, but he's another really good player. He said he wants to play with the Lakers. He basically talk, like, talks like he's on the Lakers already. I don't know what you do. Going back to the Wizards sides of thing, things, Russell Westbrook has made it clear that he's interested in playing with the Lakers. He entertains that idea and he is from LA. So this would be going back home for him. And I think he would start off the season trying to prove something, trying to show that he is Russell Westbrook. He's not uh, who we thought he was at the beginning of last season with the Wizards or who we some people thought he was with the Rockets, where in the playoffs he was injured and didn't play his best, even though he still did play very good. So I think he'd come out with a bang with the Wizards, and uh, I'm very excited, or I mean with the Lakers, and I'm very excited for that. Now what happens with Bradley Beal? The Wizards say, like, basically they're trying to create salary cap space to surround Bradley Beal with some better talent. You're not getting anyone better than Russell Westbrook. That is for sure. I guarantee you that. No one's going to play in Washington unless you make a trade, which I don't know who you really trade for at this point. And that's better than Russell Westbrook. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know who you go for. Not quite sure what the Wizards are thinking. I think Bradley Beal is probably done with Washington at some point this upcoming season. I think he will be traded or even tonight or even in the offseason. At some point, he is getting traded in my eyes. So let me know what you guys think because there is so much coming out right now. I think that the Russell Westbrook deal sounds a little bit more legit than the Buddy Heald deal. Part of the reason Shams did not report anything about the Buddy Heald deal. And then once Woj did report about the Russell Westbrook deal as well as Shams did, then he basically made it sound like the Russell Westbrook deal was a slightly more likely than the Buddy Heald deal. And he is not really tweeting too much about the Buddy Heal deal anymore. But it sounds like the Lakers are listening to offers from both teams. They're communicating with both teams right now and trying to figure out what is the best situation for their team. So I would say the best situation is probably trying to get uh, Russell Westbrook on the team just for that veteran leadership and also that winning mentality and um, former MVP on your team. So that is what I say you could do if you are the Los Angeles Lakers. I'll probably have to make another video today. We will see. This is already my third video of the day. Um, I don't even know if these are really going to get views because it's the third video of the day. But I just wanted to get it out to the few people that do watch these. Or maybe, the, I don't know, maybe a lot of people watched it. Um, but uh, stay tuned for the NBA draft. I'm excited for that. I have it recorded, so I will see it when I get done with work in a little bit. I got to go to work pretty soon. So if some news comes out while I'm at work, I'm sorry. I'll get it back. I'll get the news out to you as soon as I get back, but I will see you guys all later. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all, and that would all be very much appreciated. I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.